Hey everybody, this is Brogy Narc, back again with another video, and today I'm going to be talking about Overlord, a, a new World War II sci-fi uh, action film that just dropped. Uh, it was directed by a director I'm not familiar with, Julius Avery, and as you, if you see promotions, it was produced by J.J. Abrams, which when I heard that, I was a little worried, because J.J. Abrams lately has been producing a lot of movies that's been kind of eh, and I was, and also connected to the uh, Cloverfield franchise, and I was worried that this movie was going to be a part of that, and uh, not to be a spoiler, but thankfully it's not, thankfully it's not. I remember one of the trailers dropped about three months ago, I had never, I knew nothing about it, and I saw people talking about it, I looked at the trailer and I was like, oh, this looks so like a Wolfenstein thing, you know, it's soldiers, they, you know, in World War II, they drop down in a village, they get dis separated, most of their p battalion is taken out, so they f happen to be in this village, and then some weird things is going on with Nazi experiments, and it creates uh, creatures or whatever, I, I was thinking Nazi zombies, so I was like, oh, soldiers versus Na Nazi zombies, this could be fun, like a movie like this could be either be really fun and crazy, or it can be like it can be fun bad or it can be boring bad and I have to say that it's just fun it's not bad and it's not boring it's just a fun movie well maybe not fun is the right word but it's a it's a good movie like it I was I, <clears throat> I went into this with like low expectations and I was surprised that this movie was as I was like oh this they actually tried to do not tried they actually made a really good movie like I was just I, the whole time I was watching, I was just waiting for I'm like, okay, so when is this going to get bad? When is this going to get stupid? And it never happened. Thankfully, it never happened. It was just a solid movie from beginning to end. Uh, there's a few problems, you know, not problems, but like, you know, nitpicks here and there, but damn good movie. The cast was good. The action, the, the action and the special effects were really good. Because I thought a movie like this, I don't know what the budget was, but I was I was expecting... Because some of the special effects in the trailer didn't look that great. But when you see the movie, they have good CGI and practical effects. And they all work. And I was afraid that they might be... It would either have too much action or not enough action. Um, it has a good amount of action in it. Like, well, yeah, it has a good amount of... Like, it, it's... The times where I thought it was going to be boring, it, it's, if it's not anything action happening, it's intense. That There's a lot of suspense. It's a very suspenseful film, and the horror elements are very good. Um, the gore is good, and it's it's gory, but it's not over the top. And the movie takes itself very seriously, which I, like I said, I was not expecting. Let's talk about the cast. You have your main character, which I didn't realize he was gonna be the main character. Um, his name is uh, Ed Boyce, played by Javon Adepo. Who, if you've seen Fences, the new one with Denzel and Viola Davis, I believe he plays Denzel's son. He was really good. He, like, all the actors were really good in this. That was the other thing. That was, for the most part, they were all good. That was one act I was kind of almost annoyed with, but he got better by the end. But he plays a voice, and he's a, a GI who's, like, he's been through basic training. And, you know, the movie starts with them on the plane, and they're about to drop into... Uh, Normandy. Basically, this movie takes place, I think, two or three days before D-Day, and these soldiers, a whole, a whole pl uh, battalion, a whole platoon of them, different planes are flying over to drop down behind enemy lines before D-Day, because they have to take out this specific tower that's, uh, uh, that's, it was a church in the, in the French village that's been taken over by the Nazis and, and has a special tower where it you know allows them to relay signals to the other parts of the 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 blockade so they have to take out this specific tower for d-day to actually work because without it they you know it'll be harder for them to do so they're all on a plane and you get dialogue you get to know some of the different people and you find out that Boyce is he's not a good soldier he's you know he he doesn't he's not good at shooting or at least he's not great at shooting and he's he, he, you know, he's, he's not, I don't know, he's not tough enough to be in war, and war doesn't agree with him, and he's more of a, a educated man, and he's not, you know, he's not a gruff guy, and then you have your other, they introduced another character, his name was, uh, I can't remember his first name, his name was Ford, played by, uh, Corporal Ford, played by Wyatt Russell, 
who was added to the team. He's he got kicked off of another team because he's a hard ass, but he's also an, um, a, a, a demolitions expert. And he those are like your two main characters. And so basically, the plane gets shot up, and few few people survive. Um, I think like four of them survive. They meet up, and they run into another character, Chloe, played by. Matilde Oliver, she's a French woman. They run, they they run across her, and she helps. She sneaks them into the village. Uh, her and Boyce kind of have. Uh, they click because he can speak French. No one on the team can speak German, but he he can speak French. And they move into. She hides them in her house. It's her aunt and her eight-year-old brother. Her aunt is sick, and her eight-year-old brother is. He's you know he's a little kid, and so. They're hiding out. They only have like a couple of hours of, yeah, they have a couple of hours before D Day is about to happen. So the 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 Ford, the corporal, he's like, all right, we got to get to the tower and we got to take out that that uh the, the we got to take out the tower. We got to get to the church, take out the tower. And Chloe tells them that the Nazis have occupied the the town. They're killing people, but they're also doing something else. She doesn't really get deep into it, but like something else is going on with the people. And the movie is very intense. It's very not. I don't know if "ground" is the right word because it is uh, sci-fi, but it, it it takes itself seriously, which I like. I said I was not expecting. I was expecting more. Uh, like it's sort of grindhouse, but it's not tongue in cheek. It's not cartoony. It's not winking at the camera. The 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 the, the effects aren't cheap. Uh, there's not a lot of uh, jokes in it. There's some humor. Like I said, there was one character, uh, Tibbet, played by John Magaro. He was he was the tough guy. Hey, you know I'm from the Bronx, so I'm from New York or whatever. And he's like, oh look at Boyce. He's he doesn't know how to hold a gun. Look at this guy. He's gonna get his head blown off. He was that type of annoying guy. And I was like, either he's gonna die soon or he's just gonna be annoying throughout the whole movie. But he was actually good. Like as the movie kept going, he didn't talk as much. And when he did talk, it was it was fun. Like he he had a good back and forth with the kid. And at first I thought it was going to be annoying, but no, it was actually good. It's a very standard film, but it's still good. Like, there's a couple, like, surprises, like, story surprises, not really, but, like, surprises in terms of the action, it gets brutal. There's one scene that is very intense where it involves um, the main, he's basically the main bad guy, um, SS soldier Waff, Waffner, played by... Uh, Paleo Asbic. I, I don't know. I probably. I, I basically. He just looks like a a, a younger uh, Michael Shannon. I just just like Michael Michael Shannon's brother. Um, he was good. He was the SS uh, Nazi uh, commander. He was not necessarily in charge. He was probably like second in command. Cause there was another scientist that was in control. Um, I I don't know what the actor's name. He, he's not really important. He's just there, which was another surprise. Cause I thought the mad scientist was gonna be a main focus but he's just kind of just there he's just like hey like there's no main like the main bad guy is hitler and i kind of like that the, like there was no side plot with the scientists it's like oh i'm going to actually take over world war ii it's like no the main bad guy is hitler he's just not here and they're just doing a job it's evil but you know i, I kind of liked how grounded it was um another thing that was really good which is sort of a pet peeve, especially with uh, war movies. Uh, when you have German characters, they speak German, and they only speak. And when they speak English, it actually works. Like it's not just a bunch of actors speaking English with a German accent, or even like say Wonder Woman, where it was World War One, but every German was speaking English for some reason. Like no, in this movie, if they're German, they're speaking German. If they're French, they're speaking French, unless the character knows English or French. And there's not a lot of subtitles. Um, so like how they did it in um, uh, in Glorious Bastards, where they they want you to know that a lot of dialogue is German, but there's subtitles. Very few of the German dialogue has subtitles, and it made it more realistic because if you don't know German, you don't know what the hell they're saying. And it, you know, it made it made the suspense more because you'll hear someone talking German and you're like, what are they saying? Or, and you you don't know how they're going to react. And there's a lot of intense mo moments throughout the film. A lot of gore. Um, I, I don't really know what else, really else to say. Just go, go see this movie. It's worth watching. Um, 
probably one of the best horror movies. Like, I know a lot of people loved, um, uh, what's the movie? Um, shit, what was the movie? A Quiet Place, but I would say, for me, this is the best horror movie of 2018 I've seen. Um, this could be a franchise. Uh, I don't, it probably keep the main guy. I don't know if you need to keep this team, but, like, different weird sci-fi stuff going on during World War II. I think they could make a pretty good franchise out of this. Um, if I would have to grade it, I'd give this a B plus. Yeah, I'd give it a B plus, a uh, 8 out of 10. Or, yeah, yeah, eight no, 8.5 out of 10. So I'm like, yeah, B plus, 8.5 out of 10. Um, really, really solid film. I was blown away by this. And, okay, so prop nitpicks, I would say one nitpick is they don't explain... Because if you've seen the trailer, there's uh, creatures. They don't explain... Oh, they don't give much detail of how it happened. I don't want to say what it is, because it can go a number of ways. But they don't explain... Like, they explain why they exist, but they don't explain how they exist. Which wasn't a problem for me. I'm a comic book fan, so it's like, okay, Nazis doing weird science, and it leads to this. Fine. But if that bugs you... They they give a dial they give them there's a scene where they drop some dialogue about well we did this and this led to that um, it was kind of hard to understand and it just kind of came out of nowhere and I, I don't I didn't really get it but if that's a problem that might be a problem but like I said go see this movie it's awesome and now we're gonna get into spoilers. All right, so uh, some quick spoilers. Not going to talk about everything. So the cameo, it was Bokeem Woodbine. You might know from uh, Jason's lyric, and um, he played the Shocker in Spider-Man: Homecoming and some other. He just pops up. He's he was just he was their commanding officer. He was on the plane and he was doing the usual. All right, we're going to get ready. We're going on this mission. We're going to fight these Nazis and blah blah blah. And you know, listen to what I say. They all jump out of the plane. Um, Boyce survives, and then he sees, uh, Bo King Woodbine surrounded by some Nazis. He wanted to help him, but then Ford comes in and tells him to be quiet, and they shoot him, and that was all. That was, like, the first seven minutes of the movie. That's, that's all. He was just there, and I was like, oh, okay. He was just there. Um, so, yeah, the, yeah, the, it was very intense. There's the scene, there was that moment where they, uh, hung up. They were well, not hung up. They inter after the uh, Nazi guy Waff was it Waffner? Yeah, Waffner was gonna it was gonna rape Chloe, and they stop a uh, boy stops him, and then they capture him. Um, Boyce, you know, Boyce goes out to go look for the other guys, and he ends up in the in the in the um in the facility. That was like that was one of those intense moments because it's like he's a black man in a Nazi facility. It's not like he could knock a soldier out, steal his costume, and, and walk around and pretend to be German. Like, no, you're still black. And he doesn't have no fucking Mission Impossible mask to cover his face. So I was just like, dude, get the hell out of there. And, of course, you know, he finds the uh, the other guy, the uh, the Jewish guy, uh, Rosenfeld. And I was afraid that Rosenfeld wasn't going to make it, but nope, he survives. Um, but that that was one of those intense moments where he's just sneaking around the facility. I'm like, how the hell is he going to get out of this? And he's got this sick guy with him. Um, Ford was badass. Like, yeah, Ford was, he was hella badass. When he was beating the shit out of the Nazi guy, it was kind of weird for a second. Because I was like, are they trying to get sympathy for this, that they're torturing this Nazi guy, because he did just try to rape that girl, but they, they weren't, I, I was a little worried, I'm like, wait, are they, do they want us to have sympathy for this guy, because, you know, fuck that guy, and the cast stecker is in this film, you might recognize as, uh, Simmons, no, Fitz, uh, Leo Fitz, I believe is his name, on Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., and the scene, he's a, he plays a photographer, and he's kind of, he's, he's annoying with them, he was, he was fine, but there's a moment where he, uh, has, after they've interrogated the Nazi guy, they're going to use him to sneak into, or to get into the tower. He goes to wake him up, and the guy was playing like he was asleep, but he, 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 sneak, he, he, he had a bag over his head. He, he takes him down, pulls the gun off him, shoots him like three times, and then he's just blindly shooting. They stop him, 
and they like try to recover him now when Boyce snuck in he had one of the serums and he sticks it in in his friend and he just wakes back up and then that's when they start that's when the sci-fi stuff really kicks in and you know his his he heals himself he's got super strength but then he's like starting to deform and like this weird stuff with his neck when he like leans back and snaps his own neck and then like pets it back together it made me think a little bit of like the thing from uh john carpenter's the thing i was just like oh wh where is this going and then he's super strong and they shoot him some more he falls down he gets back up and then of course boyce just bashes his head in that was crazy the uh the girl chloe she was bad chloe was badass i have to say she was awesome because that was she was very dedicated to saving her brother and she was not with she was with the shits like she was not afraid to get involved and i really appreciate it she wasn't like over the top macho or anything she was just very determined and she was very focused on getting her brother back but also stopping these nazis because they you know that moment where they kidnapped with the guy uh used her brother as uh, a shield and she like he's gone away and they're like well we got to go get him and she just immediately picks up a gun and picks up some um some uh some grenades and she's some pipe bombs and she was just ready to go and so because then there was that little argument which was a bit odd not too odd but where ford and boyce are like boyce is like we got to go get the brother and ford's like but our mission is to type down the tower and they're yelling and i'm like you guys a little loud you know the nazis are around but they were all at the base but anyway it was it was a good it was a good moment um oh when she when she, uh the guy when she the two guys when she shot one of them and tried to get the other one to take it to her brother and he leads her to that weird that weird uh deformed soldier like he had like he had like his face was sort of twisted and he was like shaken and he was trying to he, he ate the one guy and he was trying to kill her and there was a moment when she runs out and she's like running through all these doors and i was just like just shut the door like just lock the door but she doesn't and it was cool because she got that fucking flamethrower and just roasted his ass that she man that was it was awesome it was a good movie man um and yeah the, and yeah because like i said it wasn't fun like it was intense but it was that moment when um after the nazi guy he gotten shot up and he got shot in the face he took a shot to the face the moment where he's in the facility and he like shoots up with the two uh serums and gives him super strength and all that and then he like looks at the camera and he smiles with the busted face i was that was the moment when i was like oh this is about to get fun and it did it got it got really like it was like really action-packed um his fight with ford was cool especially when ford when he was beating the shit out of ford as payback for beating him up earlier and he was like i don't got any rope but i got this and he stuck him on the hook like he was a big hunk of meat like right in the chest i was like god i was like damn like that is woo! that was crazy and i think that was also the moment when he started he was talking something about the tar he said something the village had a special tar and they didn't refine it but we did somehow the tar led to super so i think that's what he said because he had you know he's german speaking english but his face is also just des destroyed so his voice is disordered so I, I think he said something about tar and refining it and that led to super soldiers okay sure because i because you don't know where it's going it was either going i was like it's either going to be some sort of weird science it could be a mystical thing it could be alien technology and it's just tar and i'm like okay I'm, I'm fine with that unless there was an end credit scene but they explained it i don't know that was like the main thing every like i said and, you know it was a good ending i like that i was surprised that everybody survived or at least i was surprised that boyce wasn't the only soldier who survived because i you know I, I thought the other two were going to be gone when they did the thing with the uh took the soldier and he had the grenade in his mouth and had all the explosives in the motorcycle that was that was a good scene like they it like explode it blows up the other truck with the ordnance and kills everyone and everyone rushes out and they're like gunning them down i was like that you know for just having four people that was actually a really smart plan like you lucky you had these four people with you because any less that shit wouldn't have worked but um yeah that like i said this is a really good movie if you enjoyed it or if you hated it let me know in the comments let me know what you thought about it and uh thanks for watching don't forget to like this video share it and subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for more videos peace finish this thought i am
I'm afraid to. The booty.